Welcome to another edition of Talk City Greensboro, produced by GTN, featuring interviews and events happening around town. It's an easy way to stay in the know while you're on the go. Subscribe to Talk City on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, or SoundCloud so you can keep up with what's going on in in Greensboro City Government. I'm your host, Josh Johnson, and with me today, as always, at the Big Round Table, Rosemary Flyvin. Hello. Hello. I heart the earth. Yes, Earth Day is on the way, April 22nd. That is a Saturday, so it's a great day to have it. Mm -hmm. Earth Day, the theme is invest in our planet. Awareness of our environment, stewardship of our natural resources, all something we should practice, not just on Earth Day, not just in April, but year round. But this is really a great time to kind of start thinking about it, Mm jumpstart some healthy habits in that way, Earth healthy habits, I should say. Joining us today to talk about a special Earth Day event is Dr. Shri Dorstant. Chief Sustainability Officer for City of Greensboro. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. coming to the show. Absolutely. Glad this is your second time, this right? This is my second time. Oh, she's And fantastic. it's always fun. She's an, she's an alum. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Re- that makes you a regular. Yes. That's right. A regular. Recurring guest. Yes. Yeah. So, Dr. Dorsten, before we get into talking about bingo, give us a quick introduction for those who don't know to the Office of Sustainability and Resilience yes. here with the city. Yes, the Office of Sustainability and Resilience was created last year. So I, you know, came aboard on June 1st of last year, and I can't believe it's almost been a whole year. Wow. Yeah. But, you know, the Office of Sustainability is exactly what it is. It's, it's working with departments here. We're trying to transform policies. We're trying to do things to make people more environmentally conscious uh it's just it's ongoing it's a it's a number of different things when it comes to being you know mindful of the resources we have from an environmental stance from an economic stance and from a a societal stance how are we looking at things from a more equitable viewpoint Uh, so it's it's a lot of different things that we're trying and that's what what makes programming uh, you know activities making people aware the whole education piece is so very crucial yeah and it can be fun. And that's the whole point. Absolutely. Fun at the same yeah, time. Yeah, because some, you know, sometimes you think, well, this is heavy stuff. And it is heavy stuff, you know, taking care of our earth and some of the problems that we're seeing. But we can make it fun. And I know that's kind of the point of Earth Day coming up this year. Exactly, exactly. And, you know, me coming from that just small town vibe, you know, small town in Alabama and just real, just really loving the earth, like mm-hmm. really oh, yeah. taking care and trying to be the best steward. We want to, to really see that everywhere. And Greens it's already green, so mm-hmm. let's keep it green. Let's keep it green, yeah. All right, so tell us about the bingo, Earth Day bingo. So bingo is coming April 1st, and so this is basically, you know, one good thing about sustainability, it's, it's a buzz, and, you know, everywhere, yeah. everywhere. And so this bingo idea came from a small town I saw did this in California. Mm-hmm. Really? Okay. Yeah, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is awesome. I think this would really work here. And so I threw some ideas together, kind of circulated it, got some good feedback and I was like hey and that what what's really built it to what it is it's one thing to have you know things like hey day one pick up after your pet day two I mean we could do that but let's also include some activities some events that people Mm -hmm. can actually attend to really get a better understanding and seeing how these are you're helping the earth by just doing these Mm -hmm. things Mm -hmm. so it's things that people may not just understand that they are indeed doing something sustainable so where where do we find this and how and exactly how, how does do it work? Play? What are some we of the will, things on it? Yeah. This will be posted. We are I'm currently working with commu- our communications department, uh-huh. our phenomenal communications department, our graphics designer to help us um, get this ready. Both right by before April first, yeah. it will be on the website. It will be on social media. Okay. Please tell a friend, share the information. That sort of thing. So I think, you know, with us, the promotions, um, our communications does is phenomenal. Yeah, absolutely. It will be out there. Um, And so we're also wanting people to really participate each day. Hashtag it. Go put it on your social media so that we see it. And we're saying if some if people complete one whole line, Mm -hmm. you get a prize. So that's an incentive, right? right? So and you get to say bingo. And you get to say bingo. (laughs) What are some of the things on there? You just kind of give us an idea. Sure. So for instance, um, use reusable bags. Uh You know when you go, and that's that's something that's hard. I think it's harder because. You know, now, especially going through the pandemic, a lot of people are having groceries delivered delivered to their home or, you know, you're doing pickup where they're already I know. How do you do that? Yeah. So that's something that 
I am excited to hopefully work with uh-huh. some of our local grocers to yeah. say, hey, you know, that's something that even me, like I typically have reusable bags in my car. Right. But if I'm getting here and you're already there, what am I going to do? Take everything out? <laughs> and put right. it in my bag. And, put them in and my then bag. you're going to throw away the bag. <laughs> so exactly. that doesn't make so sense. So it's just, yeah. hey, let's be mindful of this. We're working as the city of Greensboro mm-hmm. to try to change some of these things mm-hmm. for, our, for the betterment of our community. Mm-hmm. So that's one. Um, take the recycling challenge. We already have the the um, re- Recy- Greensboro collects app. Yes, mm-hmm. that's Download right. Download that. Right. Take the recycling challenge. To co- I mean, eat my kids love it. It's a good, yeah, it's a good game. It's, it's a, a great, good game. It is. It's a great game. It makes, game. It makes it's a good reminder. Go, hmm, and mm. it, it's a good reminder. No yeah. wishful recycling. So, don't don't yeah. don't wish it to be recycled. Exactly. Right. Wish cycling. No is wish right. cycling. So right, right, for right. instance, someone who's doing that on April fifth could um, take a picture of like the app that they downloaded Mm -hmm. on their phone Mm -hmm. and that's their confirmation that they can post and so that's what we're saying and at the end once you have your whole line you will email the live green um at greensboro-nc.gov email just confirming and that's how you get your prize okay i'm in i'm playing yeah that's awesome i mean in the game you get to build your own park as yes. as you complete yeah, each, yes. which is a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Well, she Rosemary was actually talking about the bingo, yeah, not d- the recycling. Oh, oh, I've, was, I've already played that game. I've I'm done s- that, and now I'm going to do the bingo. You know, I'm such a child I'm, of the '80s. Both. I'm stuck on the video game. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of these things, though, in talking to the different departments and, and you know, some of this stuff, we're like, take Greensboro Transit. Go take one of our electric buses. Right, right. right. You know, take a picture by one of our saying you're about to get on. That's yep. to really excite people that, you know, a lot of people are like, well, what do I do? How right, can yeah, I? Yeah. These this is these are reminders of mm-hmm. some things you can do. We even have on the um, we have a key. So you can go, it'll be digital, so you can go online, select the hyperlink, takes you right there to either sign up for something or, you know, add it to your iCalendar. Nice. So we're trying to make it friendly, you know? Um, Easy. Easy, accessible, all of that. Love it. That's great. So so often when people talk about stewardship and and you know they they are looking at the situation that that we're in they feel like it is such a huge issue i hear this from a lot of people actually you and i have talked about this on occasion that people just feel like it is such a huge problem that they can't do anything how do you how do you fight that mentality like how do you encourage people you know it's it's very small steps but it makes a huge difference so what can people do transforming and that's what you know a lot of things from food waste from you know understanding tree canopy from it's so many different things i feel like more education and awareness is needed so by providing games but i mean like interactive activities um programming Mm -hmm. um on april 22nd we will be launching the live green awards program Mm -hmm. and with that program we're recognizing these businesses that organizations that are doing great things have transformed their whole business you know organize organize their whole business around sustainability yeah. we want to celebrate those people yeah. and encourage others to join the bandwagon mm-hmm. um, get on board with that so th- this is how i feel we will definitely be able to reach more people and when i say more people all people yes. you know from one stance if if they're not you know, it's one thing to see it and be like, oh, I don't really understand. I want them to at least understand it. Sure. And when you sense. understand something, I think most times it pulls you in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are there, what are some other programs uh, coming out of the so office? So we have Live Green. Also in April, we're doing Food Awareness Week. So I'm mm-hmm. trying, I'm working, trying my best to get some, um, some, you know, to me, it's all about visual seeing it, mm-hmm. not just reading it. So we're trying to get some actual hands-on activities, mm-hmm. like a kitchen demo demonstration, mm-hmm. to help people. I have a bad habit. I will admit here <laughs> that coming from Alabama, just growing up in a you know a, a village, so mm-hmm. to speak, there was lots and lots of f- food. Mm-hmm. And growing up on a farm as well, we had just access to all this organic, natural, you know, nice. good food. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. It, but, you know, what about the food wasted from that, mm-hmm. you know, having the hogs, the cows and all of that, you know, so how can we 
teach or show people how to cook a pro, you know, without having excessive, Mm -hmm. or if you are to have excess, how to store it properly so that you can have it, you know, for meal planning and so forth. Mm -hmm. So I feel like having more demonstrations for these acts, you know, even pointing to the strategic energy plan, here we have this plan, recommendations in that plan. How can we show Mm -hmm. not just you know, have it on paper, but actually show Mm -hmm. and create that visual for people to follow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love the interest in composting. Um, I grew up on a farm as well. So it was just a common thing that we did. I mean, it was just, it was just. But it scares a lot of people. Like, I mean, if what you don't know, you don't want to do. And it's is it going to be smelly? Is it going to be difficult? Absolutely. You know, what do I do? How do I make, how do I make it work? That's true. That's true. I had the, I had the fortune of being shown it, whether I wanted to know about it or not. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. We just had an event at A&T yesterday with a bunch of stakeholders and it turned out really great. Mm -hmm. And just, you know, having these discussions People are getting these chicken coops. People are reverting, going back to the olden ways of doing things. And it's just, you know, you look at those times and see how lush, you know, the the greenery and things. Mm -hmm. And that's Mm -hmm. what we need. Yep, absolutely. (laughs) Excuse me. So how can people learn more about you, about the Office of Sustainability, what's going on, the the city strategic plan, where where it is in full implementation. Please go. We're still building our web page, mm-hmm. but it's there with some information. Yep. Um, we'll be putting um, our bingo this up soon. Uh, so it's in it's it's being created by the day. We're okay. adding more Fantastic. and more content. So please go visit us. Um, just type in uh, sustainability or resilience Greensboro, North Carolina, mm-hmm. and it'll take you right to it. Yeah. Or if you land on the city's main page, just the little search thing, just yes. type in offices. sustainability. Yep. Yes. Sustainability will get yep. you right take, there. It'll take you right there. All right. Well, Sheree, thank you for yeah, being there. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate you being here. It's this always good great. to have you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Stay tuned in weekly by subscribing to Talk City Greensboro on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. And don't forget, you can download Talk City from SoundCloud. That's our time for this week. Thanks for spending some of yours with us. If you like what you hear, please share it with a friend. Hey, be sure to watch GTN, your official source for news and information about the city of Greensboro. GTN's available on Spectrum Channel 13. AT&T U-verse Channel 99. And Lumos Channel 31. GTN also streams live on Roku and the city's website at, at greensboro-nc.gov. Greensboro-nc.gov. Oh, 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 oh,